I have a hickory tree out back that has just dropped all of the uh, hickory nuts. So I'm going to go out there and collect those. And we'll bust one open here in a little bit. But apparently, instead of sitting down looking out the window because of all these nose prints, I just need to stand up more. And once I pick up all those nuts, I'll run the uh, my leaf blower here. We'll get all this other stuff off of this deck. I found this one. It's opened up all on its own. It's kind of nice how it opens. got all the hickory nuts that I need so now it's time for the uh, leaf blower I did buy a new shaver, which uh, is pretty nice, and maybe one day I'll look like that guy. I don't know. But I did use it once, and I went from looking like this to looking like this. Yeah, I don't know. Just need to use it a few more times, I think, and then uh, turn into a stud. I got about uh, maybe four pounds of hickory nuts, just uh, right around two kilos, something like that. And, oop, get over. They're actually really good for barbecue. Just throw them in your smoker. It's kind of a alternative to using hickory wood, so I don't know. My thinking is instead of cutting down a tree for the wood to barbecue, why not just use these nuts? seem to be working fine for me and I know others have used them as well so it's kind of nice to uh, to do never-ending su supply really once a year you get a whole bunch of them and I have another tree that's uh, out back as well but I just leave those for the squirrels to eat the squirrels like them uh, but this they're very hard to open up and there's not much meat inside they are edible but let me crack one open and we'll take a look at it. You see inside, there's some good meat in there, but it's all in kind of different compartments. It's kind of hard to pick out of there, but they do taste good. But again, I just use them for smoking, barbecue, something like that. Okay, I picked out a juicy one. I'm going to crack open another one. And we'll pick out the meat on out of that one. See what it tastes like. I've heard of these being referred to as pig nuts around here. Because you see, as I dig out the meat, it's just pretty much all shell. So apparently, some folks would feed these or let the pigs eat them, I guess, to help and enhance the flavor of the meat. Because for a human, yeah, it's doable, but hey, who's going to do this for, gosh, I don't know, 50, 60, 70, whatever nuts to really get a anything out of them so this one yeah see how 
tiny that cavity is and on that side so that's that's a decent amount out of that one all right let's give it a taste here hmm not bad kind of tastes like hmm I don't know earthy woodsy I bet if I busted open four more and toasted them they'd be a lot better but I don't know you probably can't see it too well but if I smash it there's a lot a lot a lot of oil in these things yeah look at that so again that's why they're pretty good for smoking meats or whatever yeah pretty good not too bad just a, a different taste and we'll find out here in about eh, two or three minutes whether my throat starts <laughs> closing up and I have to get an epi shot I found more items to donate and recycle and that's recycle just some old wires and all that and donate an old keyboard some towels and oh the strainer kind of reminds me of the magic mirror from do you know which show and then some more towels I'm just not using anymore so I'll, I will donate those and recycle that stuff and then I found an old backpack belonged to my dad I don't know if you can see it but it says US pretty nice but inside that's his old uh, gold panning equipment there's bear spray in there that's really old it's probably no good and some gloves a trowel oh, that's nice little bottle a couple little bottles to suck up any sort of small gold flakes and sifter and he lived in Washington State for a while so he has a book about regulations and and all that and years ago I went out there a couple times I think and we panned for gold it was actually really nice because you just get out in the middle of nowhere and just spend an afternoon panning for gold. Did we find any? Yeah. Was it worth it? No. It's probably, what, five bucks worth back then? The late 80s, early 90s, mid 90s, something like that. But it was fun. And I think I'll hold on to that because I really do want to travel back out west. But I guess the regulations for panning have changed quite a bit. So I don't know. I'll find out when I get out there, if I get out there. All right, so not a whole lot for downsizing stuff, but hey, like I said, still going through a lot of things and a little bit at a time. Okay, see you, bye. Finger.